Hello, my name is Mariana and today this is a reading for Leo. So Leo, as always, I've done this reading with my own deck, so the cards you'll see are from this deck. Um, today for you, Leo, the message seems to be about you respecting your time to retreat, but also respecting your own power and showing up to your like like to the best of your ability as an empowered person and i feel like this is um perhaps like this maturity process that you're going through and like the sleep is very important like resting and sleeping is coming through very powerfully here it's almost like uh you know the overall message if i could sum up in one sentence is your power comes from a good night's sleep and when you're sleeping is when the magic happens so whatever happens during the day that could be um sketchy is the word that is coming through but i'm not sure if that's the proper word to say um what i mean the way that i'm seeing this and i'm going to jump into the cards to explain and you know describe a little bit what i'm seeing here for you leo but overall it's like there is some sort of um imminent danger or some sort of imposition of a structure or an order or especially like a routine whether it's like your routine your daily routine in your home or in your workplace i feel like there is some sort of um need for you to show up to this other who can be a boss or a parent or somebody that is coming through as presenting their authority and trying to impose their way of doing things to you and you are showing up with such strength such power i feel like you know you are showing up as yourself here if you've seen the thumbnail you'll see that you have come through the line of the strength card and i'll show you that but you know just um giving you this bigger picture i feel like you are finding your power which is actually you know this thread uh that is being um being woven through all of the readings recently and i feel like you it's like you're mastering that kind of showing up for yourself and standing up for yourself but that includes knowing when to retreat knowing when you need some rest when you need a real good sleep right so why i'm saying that the reason is because of this opening card the four of swords but actually yes yeah, you know mainly this is a card that signifies to me needing to rest but actually what this came through first and mainly uh, or at least uh, firstly was this weight it's almost like uh you were on your way to do something or to actually the way that i'm seeing it is like you are you know this powerful lion walking in the jungle or in the woods or whatever uh, on your way to find a good place to rest or to nest is what i just heard or to sleep and just you know uh slow down and take this really good night's sleep um but i feel like there is this alert or there is this um it's almost like this uh this instinctual knowing in you that you have to wait a second it's like do not proceed forward until you have like until you have read this territory ahead, until you have really, uh, it's almost like you're investigating if this site that you found is good for you to take, you know, an hour of sleep or, you know, uh, if it's safe. And I feel like holding up and not proceeding forward is a really, really perfect move because of these two cards. So, we have the five of swords and the devil coming next so there is a lot of things like 
these two cards together, you know, especially the four being followed by the five, it's like if you proceed forward without waiting to see what is this place, if it's safe or not, it's like if you just take your place, right? If you just, you know, occupy this room or if you just um, continue without waiting and watching for what's to come or for what's already there. I mean, what are the conditions or what, what are the players involved or what is this environment that uh, I'm seeking to uh, get some uh, rest and relief, but is it safe, right? Can I really just rest and sleep? Meaning, you know, it's like you were not in this alert state anymore, right? You are in this very vulnerable position when you sleep, right? It's almost like, you know, if you are coming here as this lion, right? It's like the great predator of the forest is taking a nap in a sense. And so if you're not aware of your surroundings, you sleeping without waiting and watching if this is a good place to rest, then this could be like this could really put you in danger and this is what these two cards are talking about the five of swords with the devil it's almost like there is something that is sketchy you know sketchy came from this uh card that's what i heard there is something sketchy or there is something sneaking up on that environment on this it's almost like I'm seeing this open space within a very dense forest and the way that you, it's like very cautiously, very wisely, you are waiting and watching. It's like instead of um, just hurrying up to occupy that vacant space, it's like you see that that space is available, but it's almost like you can smell the trap. That is what I just heard, which is so... It's like it's so meaningful like you coming so powerfully as the lion so all overall it's like you are the great predator it's like you are you know this uh, largest animal you are the king of the jungle in a sense but you are because you are aware and you are cautious that if you um proceed without being careful enough and uh, just analyzing very uh, thoroughly the all of the factors within this space right you will never find a resting place in a sense or you will never find the relief that you seek you see it's almost like it's going to uh, prevent you from occupying the, the space and it's almost like there is always going to be something if you proceed forward without you know being very careful that's you know the uh the warning in a sense for you leo so this devil here was coming through as like something that you know like something some kind of danger that you have already experienced so it's almost like you can smell when something is out of place when there is some sort of trap there so the reason why I'm saying it could be like, you know, because this was coming through as like this vacant space, it could be like something in the environment instead of being a person, which I feel more like it. It's not that there is going to be like, you know, another predator that is there to attack you. I don't feel so. It's almost like there is something not right in the atmosphere that is making you just, you know, take a step back before proceeding and when you feel like you understand or that you are seeing clearly what is this devil or who is this devil or you know what this devil means and what is doing there or what is the trap that they are preparing to get you in a sense this is when you show up this is when you know by analyzing from afar and when they are distracted in a sense, right? When there is this sense of gap that you can uh, move in or that you can show your presence, this is when you show up. So what I saw and what I heard with this um, lion coming through after the devil was you're finally coming out of the woods. And so I really saw you very gently, very silently, very discreetly, 
it's almost like you are the one who's going to um, sneak up behind this devil, right? If they were trying to uh, build this trap to get you, it's like you are the ones who are going to get them in a sense. So you, Leo, are very, it's like you are very, very intelligent and very smart. It's like you are really uh, showing up with like the most powerful abilities that you have, which are this discretion and the silence and you know being very um, meticulous in how you approach this environment and so what i saw you know actually was yes your face very firm but also what i saw was like you walking you know i saw the claws going on you know over the ground but it's like I could hear when the claw would touch the ground. It was almost like this thunder. So it's like the power that is embedded in your being and how it is like entering the earth in a sense. It's almost like you're not saying anything, but your presence is having this kind of powerful stance that, you know, is um, announcing your approach in a sense, which is very, I mean, if we think of like, these two characters like you are facing your de demons you're facing something that is you know could be potentially like another predator or you know uh, a competitor or like something that well it's now coming through as like uh something behavioral it's almost like you're going to face some kind of behavioral opponent i don't even know what that means um yeah, so you being discreet, it's like the best approach that you can have, right? It's like your presence is doing all of the work and all of the, you know, um, marking the territory in a sense. So the cards that are coming next are really interesting. After we have you showing up very, very powerfully, and I just saw 1212. Uh, we have the five of cups and this queen of pentacles. So this is this, right? Is the trap in a sense. And so what I was thinking when, you know, this five of cups came through was how these two cards, these two fives in particular, the five of swords and the five of cups, how they're showing up so much. I feel like since the Taurus reading, they have been in every single reading so far. So the Gemini, the Cancer, and now you. And it's like there is this, uh, like you are in this kind of battle that you have the right weapons to fight her for yourself, right? If there is some sort of trap that, you know, this character or this situation or this, uh, sneaky energy is trying to uh just put you in a conflictive situation right let's say like that so you are coming through with the five of cups and then it's almost like they are it's almost like this was the part that you weren't supposed to see although being cautiously and and very uh cautious and very uh prepared uh, and waiting and watching, you could see something that was done behind your back in a sense, right? And so this could have been, you know, very, you know, much more potentially aggressive or potentially destructive, right? If you haven't seen it before in preparation. And here, your approach to it, it's like this five of cups facing, you know, this devil was coming through as you know, this is the same character. The Queen of Pentacles, it's the same character than of the devil, but it's just that this devil is more like um, the traits or the character. And this is like their human facet or, you know, uh, it's coming through as order, but, you know, somebody perhaps that is very pragmatic or very objective and direct, and they are trying to deal with whatever you are, showing up very it's like that's the thing you it's it's just your presence your presence is emanating so it's like this protection of love 
it's how it's coming through this five of uh cups it's almost like you have this shield that whatever they are trying to distract you with right or to impose you with with all of these practical duties or responsibilities or order it's like they want to impose their order over your territory and you are very clearly like stating no this is my territory which is also something that came through in a couple of readings back maybe the last one um but the thing here is that there is some time going on i feel like this perhaps is like a, a confrontation that will it's like it's not going to be quick right it's almost like a it's like you are the way that i'm seeing it's almost like you are circling this queen of pentacles and you're not going anywhere and and so are they it's almost like you are you know making this resistant uh resistance battle of you know who's going to um stay there the longer right and so here with these two cards that jumped out together the moon and the magician that's the reason why i'm saying i feel like the magic happens at night this is what this these uh two cards were talking about it's like the combination of these two major arcana was talking about how you are so smart in letting this thing you know be extended until nighttime when perhaps you are going to have the advantage because i feel like somehow it's like you are so smart in waiting and watching that you know it's almost like you can predict what is the next move or what is the next order that they are going to uh impose or try to impose uh to you and by being patient and by being it's like firm you're coming through like very firmly it's like you are not going anywhere you are stating that this is your territory that you deserve to be here because this is the perfect place for you to um take a nap and rest and take you know just enjoy the night it's almost like you need that spot because it's like that spot is going to provide you the perfect you know position to connect with the moon in a sense to connect with your own intuitive abilities or your intuitive senses so it's like the, it's all about the location which is very interesting it's like you have found this perfect place for you to sleep or for you to rest or nest and this is you know it's like there is this kind of magic in the air that is um is perceived not only by you but also by these very sneaky energies and they are also trying to you know get the best from this right it's almost like there is some sort of atmosphere that is different in this environment that opens the door or opens the veil towards this kind of um nocturnal um magic right that wants to come through to whoever is in that place and you know that you deserve that spot so you're not going anywhere although there might be competition right so i feel like you know the advantage to remain very firmly there it's like you are going to win you know through resistant through resilience to you know keeping calm but making your stance you know very known to this devil slash um queen of pentacles so i'm going to pull more cards for you to see uh where this is leading for you leo um and also i'm going to pull from the astrological runes in the extended reading so if you want to join me there i'll be happy to see you if not i'll see you next time okay bye